before we build an automated workflow, which we call a Zap, let's walk through the logic model. Think of it as a formula to help you be successful when you make your own automation. You'll need the automation cheat sheet, which is attached to this lecture. Pull that up and follow along. Now, before you set up your first automated workflow, there are a few things we need you to think about. One, decide what you want to accomplish. What's the problem you're trying to solve? You'll want to be as specific and detailed as possible here. Two, decide what apps need to be involved. These are probably apps you're already using. Three, create the rules these apps need to follow. When this happens, do that. For example, when we get new leads from Facebook, send emails to our salespeople. Four, make sure the apps understand each other by putting data in the right place. You're just telling your apps what data to send and where to send it. Think about where in the apps you're expecting the data to appear. So let's walk through an example of how you'd put this into practice. First, decide what you want to accomplish. For example, I want to make sure our salespeople know when we get a new lead. Second, decide what apps need to be involved and give them permission to talk to each other. Let's say, off our example, we get new leads from Facebook and our sales folks prefer to receive emails. Now, set the rules you want your apps to follow. When we get a new lead in Facebook, send an email to our sales team. In Zapier language, the when is a trigger and the do is an action, but more on that later. Finally, make sure your apps understand each other by putting information where you need it. In our example, Facebook has all sorts of data on leads we can access through their API. So in this case, we just need the lead's name and email address. Zapier makes it easy to see this data and plug it in where you need it. So to put it all together, here's what we've got. I want to make sure our salespeople know when we get a new lead. We get new leads from Facebook, and our sales team prefers emailing. So, when we get a new lead in Facebook, send an email to our sales team with the lead's name and phone number in the body. Is this starting to sound familiar? You've already practiced this framework in your homework. And this logic model, it applies to any automated workflow that you create using Zapier. Now that you've established an automation mindset, you're ready to translate this thinking into the Zapier lingo.